Welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware. This is Steven Taylor, as you know, and no, we did not call each other to wear the shirt today, so we match. Well, something we'd like to talk about today is stacks and really stack temperature, but uh, something pretty simple. But man, the stack, um, it actually does what? Gets rid of all the exhaust gases. All the exhaust gases from the uh, actual burner. From the combustion. Course. Yep. Um, now I notice on some boilers that they're in the back of the boiler and the front of the boiler. Some in, the, some in the front, some in the back. So, you know, every pass, you know, this is one pass, two pass, three pass, four pass. So if the stack is in the front of the boiler, it's either two or four pass. If it's in the back of the boiler, it's always a three pass. Okay. Now the, the stack temperature, I think is something that is very critical that people should be watching for. Exactly. Um, so maybe let's talk about that. Yeah, it's extremely critical. Um, it's going to tell you right off the bat, if you watch it, monitor it every day, it's going to tell you whether you have a, have a problem or not. It, it, that is the quickest way and the most efficient way to track what's going on with the boiler. There's three ways to, to increase your stack temperature. Too much air. If your O2s are real high, that means you've got way too much air volume going through, so you're taking unburnt gases and just and the, them. the velocity, you're just shoving them right out the stack. Okay. That's going to jack your stack temperature up. The other thing that will do that is lack of heat transfer. Two things that cause that. One, if you, if you soot the boiler up, you soot those tubes up because typically that's oil firing. If you soot the boiler up gas firing, you really got a bad combustion. Right. But it can happen. So that creates insulation on the, on the fire side of the boiler so you can't get heat transfer. Mm. Your stack temperature goes up. Same thing on the water side. If you start to scale it up, it does the same thing. Lack of heat transfer, your stack temperature starts going up. And, and again, if you monitor that, write that down every day in your boiler log, then you know before you ever have a problem, you know, hey, my stack temperature has been running 430, 435. Now we're at 450. There's a problem. We need to take a look and see what's going on. If it's not on the combustion side, I'm scaling the boiler up. I've got to get that fixed before I do damage to the boiler. Now, just so that we clarify, you said fire side. This is a fire tube it's boiler, fire tube so boiler. that means that the water is on the outside of the tubes. Yep. Um, and so the, when you have the scale from the water, obviously that's going to be on the outside, on the outside. creates that insulation. Yep. Um, and if it's a water tube boiler, just the opposite. The water's right. inside the tubes, fires the outside of the tubes, but you have the same issue. It's, it's an insulating uh, component that, that you can't have on the tubes. You've got to keep that off of there. What happens with the stack um, when the temperature's low? What, what's actually going That's on? That's the other problem we have to watch with these XID tubes. These XID tubes have got rifling inside the tube and it gets a lot better heat transfer. We have to watch when we put an economizer on there, if we oversize the economizer, we'll drop the stack temperature below the dew point, which causes it to start to condense. Then we've got water coming down through there. If it's not all stainless steel, this one is. But if it's not, everything starts to rust out. You create all kinds of problems. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you drive by a facility and you see it looks like steam coming out of the stack. That's not steam. That's the combustion gases uh, condensing as they come out, which causes rain to come down and causes all kinds of all corrosion kinds problems. Of corrosion issues all inside. All of the everywhere. Now, I noticed that we have a lot of stuff that's coming out of this stack. And maybe, you know, talk a little bit about wh what can you measure back here? Yeah, what, and what we're doing, we're doing a couple of things. One, you've got a, a gauge, temperature gauge, so that's what they'll check every day. If they don't have uh, an EGA, exhaust gas analyzer, where they're measuring it digitally, then, then they'll measure it, just check it here every day, and they'll write that down, what's going on. We also have a temperature probe, so we're, we're actually checking the temperature, running that back over here, and then we have have an EGA on here, so here's a probe, we're, we're monitoring O2, CO, CO2, uh, NOx, we're monitoring everything on this particular unit, and so then, then all of that comes through the EGA, so we can look there real quick and see exactly what the st uh, stack temperature is. What about from a, uh, a damper standpoint? Um, back here on the stack anything. Yeah, we have we have a damper here with with a, a control on there for Maintaining the same back pressure on the boiler all the time and that and that's in the last five years we've uh, You know become a lot more knowledgeable of what that needs to be uh -huh. and, and what we're looking for We're looking for zero pressure at the outlet. Okay. That's what we're looking for That's what the burners are designed for zero zero outlet pressure you know, plus or minus one-tenth of an inch of, of pressure, which is nothing. 
So, so that's what we're looking for. And, and the only way, well, the best way to get that is to put a modulating damper on there. Then we can control that. That is set up when we do the, the initial combustion commissioning. Uh -huh. We'll set that damper up along with uh, the, the, the uh, uh, servos on the gas and the, and the air pushing in the boiler to, to maintain that zero that we're looking for coming out of that boiler. Sounds like a, maybe another boiling point that we'll get Could be. a little bit deeper Could be. maybe a little with bit that, deeper or maybe even it. let Jude do it. There with, you go. Uh, weekly boiler test. There you go. All right, man, appreciate it. Uh, anything else before we go? That's it, we're All done. Right. Well, we appreciate you hanging out with us and we'll see you next time on The Boiler Point. Well, stacks are something that's very, very important and appreciate Steven bringing some information to us. Uh, you know, this is a, a stack here. Obviously on every boiler, there is a stack. And as Steven said, it's something that you can be watching every day and to see just what's going on with the boiler. So make sure you check that. Also, if you want to learn a little more about stacks, Boiler University, uh, you can either come here or you can check out and learn a little bit on the online class that we have. Make sure you go out there and check that one out. And like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, we would appreciate a share and check out all the other boiling, or the bo uh, boiling points, the weekly boiler tips, and the steam cultures that's out there. Over 500 videos now, so a uh, lot of information. We appreciate you, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.